Hello. Today's video is about the September 22nd uh, media event that Apple's putting on. This is their like last kind of hoorah of the year for uh, 2013 for uh, any product releases. So the first rumor that has been coming through is the uh, iPad 5. From what we've known is that it's going to be a 9.7 inch retina display so that's not going to change at all. It's going to be thinner, lighter and uh, possibly the A7X chip. Uh, the colors, what I've heard, is the silver and space gray. So they really haven't said anything about like if they're gonna do gold, so that's pretty much shot down. But you never know what they're gonna do for colors until they actually say it. Uh, it's kind of like an iPad mini style design. It's kind of thinner, you know, uh, smaller uh, side bezels. So, nothing with the screen size is, is going to change so it's kind of like the form factor and also it's been uh, rumored is the iPad mini 2 it's possible that it might get the retina display this year uh, for it could make the product a little bit thicker because to make room for that uh, display improvement for processors it could be bumped up maybe to the A6X or the A7X you never quite know until they actually say it uh, for cameras, it's going to be uh, an, eight, an 8 megapixel camera, it, so that should be a nice upgrade for people who don't have the iPad to, uh, mini or are looking for an upgrade in their cameras. Also, what has been uh, has been updated for a while is the Mac Mini, which a lot of people uh, have been speculating it's going to get the Haswell processor. It's going to, its GPU is going to be uh, bumped up to the Iris integrated graphics card, so which would do which should be really nice. Uh, for the Wi-Fi, it's going to be updated to the 802.11 AC. And the price point should remain the same. Like They really haven't changed the prices on a long time. Uh, for Mac Pro, we all pretty much seen that uh, what it's going to be packing underneath the hood. So we should be able to know what the release date is and upgrades you can get and the date release and pricing. And the MacBook Pro should be getting the Haswell processor, improved battery life, gigabit Wi-Fi, 1080p FaceTime camera, and the release dates, and uh, the upgrade prices too. And Mavericks is going to be uh, final release date and any extra little things that Apple will uh, want to throw in. And possibly the Thunderbolt display will pro probably uh, be upgraded to the uh, 4K resolution for the Mac Pro, which it should be, you know, able to handle. So, and uh, possibly I've heard loose rumors about a retina, retina display for it, but it's mostly unlikely. And it's going to be, uh, for the design, it's going to look kind of like the iMac design with the tapered uh, design and the razor thin edges. It's going to have the Thunderbolt 2 and USB 3. So, which leaves open for the 4K res. Uh, maybe there will be some uh, iPod updates, like the uh, Classic could be updated or discontinued, we just don't know at this time. iPod Touches uh, probably bump up in their uh, processor chip, the memory, Touch ID, camera updates, you, and the uh, LED flash could go to the two-tone flash like the uh, iPhone 5S has. And uh, shuffle, uh, that's hard to say. I mean, it's probably not going to change much. Or the uh, nano either, since that was just updated uh, WWDC earlier this year, back in uh, June. So that wraps up the video. Make sure you like, comment, and share, and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you.